Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, additional lecture in which we are going to illustrate to you uh, the methodologies that we talked about in this course by taking the example of how can you do well in a product management, product managers interview. So in this uh, basically what we will talk about is uh, as you know the process so we will talk about two things in this lecture what to plan for this product manager's interview and what topics to prepare for the interview, right? So let's take a look at that. So how do you think you will go about uh, doing well in a product manager interview? What all would you do? What would be your framework for doing well in this product manager interview? See, our, our framework was simple as we talked about in this course. Uh, it's a three piece plan, prepare and perform. Little bit of cliche, but plan, prepare and perform. So that is the framework that we will we have been using and we will use again in this lecture to illustrate. So let's look at the planning part. So what to plan for the interview is the question. And there if you go back, there is a recap of what we talked about in this lecture. There are many things that you need to plan for. How will you reach there physically or connect online? What will you wear for the interview? And there the question is, uh, as a product manager interview, most likely you will be at least formal or smart casuals. You won't be casuals unless it's a company that is the casual culture. Suit or a tie versus no suit versus no tie at all. And uh, these questions, the best is to ask the person who's arranging the interview to say, hey, sir, is there a dress code for the interview? And he or she will tell you the dress code. Obviously, for this interview, you should carry your CV, keep your CV if it is online, certificates, what are necessary, appointment letter and important exhibits that you have that you can show rather than tell the interviewer about what you have done. And the things to prepare, obviously, uh, topics and questions and practice sessions. So let's look at it in a lot more detail uh, about what are the topics that you would uh, need to prepare to do well in a product manager interview, right? And uh, it will start by taking a look at the product manager's job description. Now, these job descriptions vary from company to company. So it would be, it is really required that you ask the interviewer for a job description if it is already not with you and prepare accordingly. And the job description, as you see, essentially should contain about a summary of the job in job detail, a little note on company. What are little more details on the role, benefits, for your benefits, and the qualifications, what is needed for you to uh, be selected. So that's how. So let's look at each of this in a lot more detail because this definitely is not readable, but I just want you to illustrate the headings in this slide for you. So let's look at the job details and about the company part. So you look at the job details and this is a company that is called Mobile and Media Masters, actual or fictitious, I don't know. Uh, and they say that they were founded in 2016 in Watertown, South Dakota, a US company. And what they're looking for is uh, a product manager to, uh, uh, the, to, to handle the mobile app and media development that uh, for creating the new brand new apps uh, for the already rapidly growing audience. So the topics to prepare start coming from the job details. As you read, you see the first thing that you say is they're looking for someone to enable the creation of brand new apps. So that becomes the first topic to prepare. How can you create the brand new app? Because that's the main role. So they're likely to ask you that. And they're saying again the third line you read is perfect for someone who's a passion for building convenient and helpful products and developing and continuous improve, improving user interface and new content. So these two again come into the topics, building convenient and helpful products, developing and continuously improving user interface and new content. So this becomes the beginning of the list of topics. Let's look at the remaining part of the job description. So in fact, the important thing is to read his role. And it very clearly says the mission of the role is to create exceptional mobile products that attract and grow the established audience. So to the first three bullet points as you go forward, you say that you need to build the uh, 
lead the build of a new by coordinating with designs, developers, and internal teams. So, so they've kind of answered. How would you lead it? By coordinating with designers, developers, and teams. And what they've not answered is, how would you coordinate? So that becomes a question for you to uh, uh, include in your topic to prepare. So how would you coordinate with designer, developers, and internal teams? Similarly, the second bullet, bullet point they see oversee the product transition and again from helping determine what. So they also tell you the answer there. How would you oversee the product creation process and they want you to help determine what functionalities to create, coordinate with developers in staging new versions for distribution. So all that goes into your topics to prepare. You see coordination is one thing that is coming up and up again. So you can be confident that the question would be on uh, they would definitely ask you a question of how would you coordinate with designers, developers, and interview. Determining with which functionality to create, staging new version of distribution, get added to that. The third bullet says uh, author technical specification for development. So that goes into your list. So does uh, responsible for developing features, functionality, and integration. So that again goes in your list. Increase the user retention. Uh, uh, by understanding our audience and developing. So the key thing that they want you to focus is on understanding the audience and developing new features. So new features has already come and since it's coming second time, you can say you can double line or underline or bold that and see, okay, that's one thing they need again and again. And then finally monitor KPI. So this becomes a list of topic to prepare. Uh, you can also see from qualifications there anything you, you can pick in their bachelor's degree is not part of the interview experience. So experience is critical here. So think to notice they are looking for experienced people. So they are not going to ask you conceptual questions. They are going to ask you what did you do? What have you done? What has been your experience as you will see. The third bullet again talks about a strong experience. UX, UI UX design that you have not, you can add here. And data analytics, knowledge expansion, Google, excellent knowledge of Google Analytics. These become other, other things that you can here. Ability to keep big picture in mind by managing details tasks that you need to keep in mind. They may not ask you directly, but you need to keep in mind while answering that. Any answer that you give, first you need to give the big picture and then talk about the detailed things. Uh, experience working in mobile again experience you see comes four times right so it is very critical and there you should look at your own relevant product management experience not the chat gpt type of experience and answer so what's next so having looked at the topics what we will do in the next lecture separately is to talk about what type type of questions should you prepare well and then we will also answer how can you plan, prepare, and perform in the remaining part of the next lecture? So thank you so much for watching this uh, first lecture of Product Manager's Interview Preparation. I hope you continue to learn new things, continue to enjoy, and I do look forward to see you again in the next lecture.